Hi, my name is Christian Felix from Walters Mercedes-Benz of Riverside, and today we're going to be talking about the brand new 2020 E-Class 350. Okay, so here we go. This here is the brand new 2020 E-Class 350. You'll notice that this has a completely new design compared to the, e the older E-Class 350 models. This was redesigned in 2000 and 2017, I'm sorry. Um, this also does offer you a black exterior with a nice, beautiful black interior, nice combination, which is a nice for the luxury feel and the design of it as well. Um, the new E-Class will give you a more rounded off design and also a much more aggressive front bumper as well. Um, not only that, this does have the sport body styling. You're going to get the AMG sport body styling. You're going to notice you're going to get the AMG front bumper. You will also get the uh, dual bars right here on the grill. And no Mercedes-Benz em emblem on the hood. Because this does have the sport body styling, you will get the Mercedes-Benz emblem also on the grill. Um, like I mentioned, this does have the sport body styling, so it's going to be a little bit more aggressive front bumper as well. You will also get the daytime running LED headlights which is the two bars, which means that basically for the E-Class, you'll get the two bars. The S-Class, you'll get the three bars for the LED headlights. And then the C-Class, you're going to get the one bar. And that's how you'll be able to distinguish which, uh, which model this one is, kind of, um, basically by looking at the headlights also. Um, this also is a daytime running LED headlight with the full LED headlight as well. And now we're going to be talking about what's under the hood of this beautiful 2020 E-Class 350. Um, if you'll notice that right in the middle, your hatch is right in the middle. You can actually release it just like that. And then um, what you will notice for Mercedes-Benz especially, you will get three latches, okay? So whenever you close the hood and if your middle latch doesn't hold on, for sure one of the left or right ones will grab onto it because the last thing you want is the hood to pop over to you, over your uh, windshield as well. And Mercedes-Benz does consider, especially for the technicians, on the side right over here, you can actually lift up the hood to be a lot uh, easier to get an engine out, a transmission out, or anything like that as well. This is a 255 horsepower, 273 pound-feet of torque with a nine-speed transmission. It is also a two-liter four-cylinder with turbo. You also do get the eco start-stop feature, so when you stop at a red light or do a complete stop, your engine will shut off for you automatically, and then once you're ready to move, your engine just turns right back on, and then after that, you're ready to move. That right there is basically able to save you some MPG as well. Um, and then with that horsepower and torque, you will also get a 0 to 60 in 6.1 seconds as well. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and talk about the side of this vehicle. Um, this one does have, like I mentioned, it does have all the new design to it, the new E-Class design. It's a lot more rounded off. You'll notice off with the first headlights, also the mirror as well, and also the back which you'll notice right over here, it's also rounded off as well. Uh, basically a lot more modern looking as well. You will also get the 18 inch um, premium wheels. You will also get the power folding mirrors. If you wanna unlock the car, you just put your hand in the door handle, your mirrors will automatically fold for you as well. Not only that, if you're parking inside of a parking garage, you also can press a button as well, and then your mirrors will automatically fold for you if you need those extra few inches. And also, if you're, um, you're using your signals, for the vehicles aside of you and ahead of you as well. You'll notice that this has a, a bright orange uh, blinker as well and also on the side of, on your headlight as well, which is very neat. This does have a keyless entry. You just have your key in your pocket, your purse or in, uh, on hand and you just click onto that sensor right there. It's just a simple sensor. Your car locks for you automatically and if you want to unlock, you just put your hand in the door handle, your car unlocks for you automatically as well. And that's for any of the four doors. Okay, and then also if you want to power, if you want to open your windows, instead of waiting to jump inside the vehicle or anything like that, you wait for the third flash, you pull back, and then your windows will automatically open up for you as well. If you stepped out of the vehicle, and then anybody in the back seat, in the passenger seat, or even yourself left a window cracked or anything like that, you could just easily hold on to your lock sensor right over here, and then your windows will automatically close for you. Or if you want to do it while you're walking away from the vehicle, you can also do the same thing as well. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and talk about the back of this beautiful 2020 E350. The main giveaway uh, is going to be the badging. You'll see the E350 and Mercedes-Benz. You will always see the Mercedes-Benz emblem on the grill and also on the rear of this vehicle, which in this case, it's the back bumper. You also will get a standalone option, which is the rear spoiler right over here. You also get the 
standard LED tail lights. You will you could tell you could see right here, over here as well. This does look like broken glass. They call it the stardust effect. Um, which is actually a benefit for you as a driver when you are braking this vehicle, uh, pressing onto the brakes, the vehicle, uh, the vehicle behind you will notice you a lot easier because this is a brighter tail light also. Um, and then there's your blinkers as well. You also have the rear uh, deflectors as well. So when your car is at park, the cars that are passing you by, they will be able to notice that there is a car parked right there as well. Um, you also get the AMG Sport package, like I mentioned earlier. You have the, for example, the rear diffuser, the nice dual exhaust as well and then also you will also get the power lift gate with the vehicle as well uh, the power lift gate you could either uh, press onto the key fob there's a button right down over here there's also a button on the driver's side door as well or if your hands are busy and you're like hey i need to get this trunk open you just kick right under the bumper just like that your trunk does open for you like i mentioned you can close with the button right over here or you can close right here as well there's two buttons the left button is going to be to close your trunk automatically and the right uh, button will be to close your trunk also and also lock the vehicle okay so in this case the vehicle is unlocked right now we're going to go ahead and tap onto that your trunk automatically opens it uh, closes i'm sorry and then your car does lock for you automatically as well you'll notice how deep the trunk space is also you can probably fit for sure to um Luggages, also with some a few duffel bags possibly, or extra stuff that you may want to put in the trunk. You can easily fold your seats down, which is a 60-40 with a split straight down the middle also. Right over here on the right-hand side, you will also have like a shopping bag uh, hook right here. So if you have any shopping bags that you don't want flying left and right, you can just pop it right here, and it's going to hold on to your shopping bags as well. And then your Mercedes-Benz is also going to give you some extra things as well for you as well. You will get the front license plate bracket, You'll also get the cargo net. You want to hold some things down as well. And without uh, any type of failures, Mercedes-Benz will also give you a first aid kit as well. And now I'm sitting at the back of this beautiful 2020 E-Class 350. You'll notice that I'm very comfortable back over here. I am five foot nine myself. And then you'll notice right over here, there's a, there's a lot of uh, front space in front of me, a few inches easily. And not only that, if you're a little bit taller, you'll notice that there's also Mercedes Benz does consider for like take into consideration if there's going to be any people sitting back over here. And right over here on my left hand side, you'll notice that I do get the Burmaster speakers as well with the tweeters as well in the back over here, which is the Burmaster surround sound system. You also do get the ambient lighting, which is a 64 color ambient lighting right under this black ash wood trim, which is real wood. And it's the black ash wood trim as well. You have your door handle right over here. A nice little handle right over here for passengers back over here. One up over here as well. Nice coat hanger. And if you want to turn on your reading light, you'll notice that there's also a reading light right up over here as well. And then not only that, you will also get right next to me. If there's two people sitting in the back or maybe just one person, you also have an extra armrest with a little extra storage space right over here as well. And then right in here, you'll see that you do have your cup holders, um, which are pretty much hidden. And they're not just any uh, out, just hanging out anywhere else. Um, you have a cup holder right there. You just pop your phone, your, sorry, not your phone, but your cup, water bottle, or anything like that. And you can close it just like that. Very, very easy to use. And then three adults can comfortably sit in the back seat as well. And right over here, you'll notice that you have your air vents. Right in the middle, there's this knob. You could just turn counterclockwise and that closes the air vents. But if you want air to be hitting you, you can just turn that back clockwise. And then right in here, you will notice you have an ashtray and also a cigarette lighter as well. Now I'm sitting on the driver's seat of this beautiful 2020 E-Class 350. I'm going to go ahead and talk to you about a few of the things that this vehicle does have to offer. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start with the door panel. To start off, you have a bunch of buttons going on right here, but very easy to use also. This is your seat controls, okay? You can actually really easily adjust your seats just like that. You can also stretch your seat forward with that extra button right over here, and it stretches your seat forward as well, and you can also stretch it back. So that's basically if you want, if anybody's a little bit taller, a little bit more comfortable drive, headrest, backrest, and bottom as well. You also have your memory seat. You have one, two, and three, so you can easily memorize memory, just like that. And if anybody was driving this vehicle, and they don't, uh, they adjusted the whole vehicle, including the mirrors, for example. All you do is say, hey, listen, this is not the way I sit. You just hold on to your number one right there. And just easy as that, it puts your seat back into place and your steering wheel and also your mirrors. That's for the driver. And for passengers, it's only the seat, okay? Because you also do get a, pass, a power uh, seat, memory seat for the passenger as well. 
You do also have the blind spot assist. You notice that the light is on. So if there's a vehicle on your blind spot, whether it's the left-hand side or your right-hand side, that, that triangle will stay red. And if you ignore the red, as soon as you turn your signal on, the red light will flash and the car will also beep as you as well. You also have, the, like I mentioned, the Burmester right over here. Your heated seat is right there. That's high, medium, low, off. And this one is to adjust the passenger seat. You click onto that and make your adjustments like so. And then um, you can control the passenger seat as well. On the steering wheel, you also have some buttons right over here. But then again, it's very easy to use. Um, on the left-hand side, it's your cruise control uh, buttons. You can easily just turn on your cruise control and you can set it, set it on or off. You also have a mouse pad right over here. You can actually do, make it a few adjustments of a few things if you'd like. Go to radio, media, phone settings. You can also change your design if you'd like. You want to go to like a sport design. And then um, you can make those adjustments like, right there just like, like, that, like so. And then on the right-hand side, you'll notice that there's some more buttons right over here. It's to control the screen on the right-hand side. You could easily hit home. And you'll have the same features like as if you're using these buttons right over here. Navigation, radio media phone settings also your your vehicle settings as well as on the right hand side and you can also use your mouse pad right here and you can also use this round knob and you can also use this mouse pad just like that just like that okay um and if you'd like you also have the voice command let's just say for example you're in radio and you want to change the radio station instead of looking for the station or anything like that you can easily just click onto your voice command on your uh, steering wheel just like that and say 94.7 FM. Easy as that. Um, also, you have your dual climate, dual climate control. You can actually um, adjust your temperature, your fan levels also, and then it's for the dr driver and passenger. Close your air vents, turn your AC on or off, and then um, right. you also have the beautiful Mercedes-Benz clock right over here. You also have right over here the two cup holders, an ashtray, but what I like to call a coin tray for the most part with the mercedes-benz emblem on top you also do get the wireless charger so as soon as you uh, grab your phone you can just pop your phone right in there and it wirelessly charges your phone for you automatically uh, if you have an iphone 8 or newer and also for most android phones as well very easy to use you have a us board usb port right over there you also have two extra usb ports right in the center console as well and also an extra sd card um, holder so in case you have music in an SD card, you can pop that right in there and you can listen to all your music that you'd like right there as well. Um, and then right up over here, you will get the three garage door openers. So you can set maybe a gate and two garage doors, very easy to use. You also have right up over here, your light controls. So when this is uh, not uh, like a red, when it's not turned on, um, your lights won't turn on when your doors are open. For In this case, we do have a door open, which is do that right there. And in this case, all your lights will turn on. But in case you'd like to turn on your individual lights when it's all, everything is off, you also have nice reading lights right under the mirror, left and right hand side, the full light in the front as well, and also the lights in the back as well. You also will get your Mercedes Me Connect services your SOS and also Mercedes Me Connect. So any issues you have with your vehicle that you may have or any questions or anything like that, you click onto that. Someone will connect with you at, at um, for any of your questions as well for, through Mercedes-Benz. Nice glasses holder right up over there as well. And then after that, in the glove compartment, very easy to use. You'll notice that there's a lot of space right over there as well. And also on the left-hand side, if you have any valuables in your trunk, you can easily lock your trunk. And then no matter what, if you valet your car or if you just don't want anybody opening that trunk, you could just lock that right, right in there. Lock your glove compartment. And then no matter what anybody tries to do, your trunk won't open either. And again, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video on the beautiful 2020 E-Class 350. If you liked the video, make sure you hit like, subscribe, and comment down below. And we'll see you next time.